What is going on, everybody? Once again, it's your boy, Brian. And I'm here with my homie, Brandon Cook, here once again to do another hype slash prediction videos. Again, we're here live at Lambert Mall here in Hamilton, Ontario. Now, last time we did one of these, I believe it was for NSW. Oops, we did it again. This time we're back for probably, it's probably going to be the final Alpha One Wrestling Show of the 2020 year. And that is going to take place in Oshawa, Ontario. Alpha One, Re Alpha One Wrestling presents Ruckus. Now, this is going to take place this coming Sunday at the Moose Lodge located at 731 Wilson Road South in Oshawa, Ontario. Now, the show starts at 2 p.m. and the doors open up at 1.15 p.m. Tickets are still available, however, very, very limited. They are limited to only 100 tickets, so make sure to get your tickets. I'll let you know how to get those in just a moment. They are $20. Now, if you do need tickets, please text the telephone number 905-621-8255. Once again, that's 905-621-8256 to reserve your tickets. Now, again, as we mentioned, this is going to be the final card for Alpha One Wrestling, and it's going to take place in Oshawa. So if you're in the Oshawa area, make sure to come out to the Moose Lodge for Alpha One Wrestling. So there are six matches scheduled for the card. However, as we know, in professional wrestling, the card is subject to change. Now, just to announce some of these matches. So, we have match number one, where the winner of this match will be one of two opponents for Mark Wheeler in the Triple Threat main event for the Alpha Male Championship. We have... Former Alpha One Tag Team Champion, the visionary Von Vertigo, taking on a multiple time former Alpha Male Champion, the Diamond Tiger, Kobe Durst. Now, my boy Brandon, I know you're a big Kobe Durst fan. How do you think he's going to fare against an established man like Von Vertigo? About the NSW show, that match he had with Alberto was amazing. Is he quite, is he quite established? Yes. However, keeping with Kobe Durst, keeping with Alpha One, going back to their last one, the last show they had, Paige said uh, some pretty nasty things towards Kobe. But as a fan, they were true. Kobe needs to find his balls and become champ again. As Paige said, we want, we want, we want the old Kobe Durst back. We want the guy who used to come out to centuries by Paul Boy. We want the guy who calibrated Heidi Lovelace from a ladder through a table to win the title. Yes, for those who don't remember. It was at Matt Ratz 2 when then champion Heidi Lovelace, currently known as Ruby Wright in the WWE, took on Kobe Durst, and Kobe Durst did win the match with the pile driver through the ladder to win his first championship in Alpha One Wrestling. I'll actually have to agree with you on this one. Not to mention, all the matches you have to Oh, yes. Kobe Durst and Josh Alexander have. Quite a history between them in Alpha One Wrestling. And I'll, act, I'll agree with you, Cook, that, yeah, I'm actually going to pull for Kobe for this one because Kobe says he wants to get back in that title picture and defeating Vertigo will get him back into that scene. Now, the next match we have on the lineup is Vertigo's tag team partner, Debra Fuerza, El Diablo, taking on an established man 
we all know he is the man that runs Alpha One Wrestling. Yeah, one half. Yeah, no, it's not AJ Styles. No. No. And he is one half of the longest reigning Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions. You all know his name. All ego, Ethan Page, going by the Karate Man. Now, unfortunately, he wanted to challenge someone on the likes of someone of his caliber, such as Steve Blackman, but unfortunately, he's not able to make it. So, mm -hmm. so this would be a very interesting match, especially if Warza can pull a hook, a win. Because mm -hmm. we all know how established All Ego is. We, the man is known, internationally known. His name? Roger? This match? So you want to see that upset win? Well, as a fan, of all ego for the last six years and counting, I still gotta go. I still gotta go with my boy, my hero in wrestling, all ego Ethan Page, to show why he is the top dog in professional wrestling today. So those those are our predictions for that. Next up, we have a I guess you could say a grudge match, if you will. Oh, for sure. yes, and against two hard hitting individuals. Jesse V, the man who helped Mark oh, Wheeler. It's oh, the clutch, my mistake. The clutch, Jesse V, taking on the four time alpha male, former general manager of Alpha One Wrestling. And the other half of that long reigning tag team championship reign in Impact Wrestling with his partner Ali Ali Page, Josh Alexander. Now we both know Josh has taken on the biggest and the baddest and the meanest in professional wrestling, and he has proved he can hang with the big boys. But Jesse B is a big boy himself, so what's your call on this one? This is his third. I like Jesse B. Kind of more of a back challenge. As we know. Oh. Mm -hmm. back to the general manager days with the virus. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, think, I think it's time that... You find out the clutch battle. I think clutch not. I'll actually have to agree with you on that one because, again, Josh is taking on the biggest and the baddest, and he's going to prove it against the big boy, the clutch Jesse B. The man's beat a bit. He's beat a bit. Oh yes. If you guys remember, not too long ago, so I do believe it was 2018, 2019, when Abyss came to Alpha One Wrestling. Abyss gave it to Josh, but in the end, who came out on top? Josh did. All right, now we have tag team action scheduled for the card. When you have your former Alpha One tag team champions, the Space Pirates consisting of the walking, the wrestling Jesus, Shane Saber, and the man who hails from outer space, Space Monkey taking on a very unique team. I don't know if these gentlemen have ever teamed before, but you have a former Zero Gravity champion, Easy Eric Kearney, taking on your current, taking no, partnering, sorry, with partnering up with the current Alpha One Outer Limbs champion, the Bone Crusher, Steve Brown. Now, that's a very interesting pairing. Of those two. Now we all know that Easy E is usually affiliated with the A1 originals with Justin Saint and Cheech, 
But I do believe having Steve Brown as your tag team partner, it, it there, there could be a possible win here over the former tag champs. Yes, he is. Maybe. That's an interesting theory. And that is very true. Steve Brown, Steve Brown is the original. Could it be a possible fourth member? I don't know. So, what's your call on this one? This one's tough. I like Space Pirates. He's very good. He's very good at what he does. But against Brown and Eric Easley, I just. Yeah, I'll actually. You know what? I'm actually going to agree with you on this one because this is going to be a big challenge for the Space Pirates, let alone picking on just Steve Brown alone and him having backup with. Easy E and A1 original, an established man in this business. I, I actually want to, if they can pull it off victory over the tag team champions, it would not shock me one bit. Now, next up, we have another match that will be a main event qualifier, where the winner of the other match I just previously announced. The Kobe Durst match, the other match that will take place, two former champions going on head-to-head uh, -head as well, former Outer Limits champion, former Zero Gravity champion, the leader of the 450 Club, Brett Michael David, BMD, taking on the goddamn problem, Holden Albury. Now, these two gentlemen, they're, they're big boys. They, they're hard hitters. They're hard hitters. Oh, yes. They, if you saw the last show that they had, however, that being said, I like BMD. True. However, that wolf man, I know a relative that he uh, blew a house down on him recently. So I'm kind of mad about that. So I really do hope BMD puts him in his place and can get a shot at possibly becoming a future alpha male championship. Getting in one of his hand on the big one in the main event that afternoon slash evening and well that leads us to the final match which is basically going to be the winner of the two matches we announced earlier taking on Mark Luther your current champ so the possibilities are endless depending on who comes out on top so who would you call either way Oh, yes, for sure. So, yeah, that's pretty much what the lineup is at this current time. Um, it sounds like a relatively small card, but like I said, card is subject to change. So, something could be added, or some matches could possibly take longer than others. So, definitely keep, a, keep an eye out for that. Make sure to follow Alpha One on all the social media pages. Make sure to check them out on Facebook on Twitter at A1 Wrestling, as well as on Instagram at A1 Wrestling, because you like we mentioned before, the card is subject to change. Yeah. Now, Yeah, maybe the golden gun. That's for sure. He's he's shown in his last 
few events, he's been able to hold on to that championship. But in a triple threat match, the odds are against him. So maybe we could see a brand new champion crowned at what could be possibly the final event of Alpha 1. And if we do crown a new champion going into 2021, then that could be a possibility. But could we also see, even though the odds may be stacked against him, could we see the champion still retain, even possibly by hook or crook? Because he did do it at the last show. We were all witnesses to it if you were watching, whether you were there at the event or you're watching the stream. We saw that. Wherever there's Mark Wheeler, you know the clutch is not too far behind. So that'll do it for me and my vocals. Wheeler would have started Didn't do anything. Mm. Yeah, Wheeler would have started Didn't do anything. Yeah, like, technically yes, because the referee did not technically see what happened. But yes, yes, you are right about that. So, but again, we all know in pro wrestling, anything can happen in the snap of a finger. You can drop on a guy. You can see a new champion. You can still see a retaining champion. You can see something that comes out of left field. We don't know. So we'll have to find out what happens this coming Sunday. So once again, make sure to text that number. I will read it off to you once again. To so get tickets for this event, there again, once again, very limited. Please make sure to text the telephone number of 905 621 8256 to get your limited tickets. And again, they are $20. And again, that's going to take place on Sunday, October 20th at the Moose Lodge at 731 Wilson Road South in Oshawa, Ontario. So if you're in the Oshawa area, Make sure to come out to, again, what could be possibly the final event for Alpha 1 Wrestling in the 2020 year. So for my boy Brandon, and for myself, we will catch you in the next one.